I have to say it must have been horrendous to have to turn for about four hours on this, but it's nice to see this lathe at least has got its original treadle. I'm afraid I've got a similar machine and I've actually got an electric motor on the back. This, um, obviously, as you know, is a Holtzapfel lathe. It's actually, we tend to call all ornamental turning lathes Holtzapfels, but this is a genuine Holtzapfel. And it's Holtzapfel and Dalin, who were, to my knowledge, in partnership, I think, up to about 1830. And after 1830-ish, the firm then just became known by, the, by Holtzapfel, and that went right on making lathes yes. of very similar pattern to about 1900. Do you have any family history on it that sort of could back that up? Yes, I've had the lathe for 54 years now. Right. It was given to me by my granddad in the um, in the 40s, and he told me that uh, it had been given to him by his great grandfather uh -huh. in 1828. But because but because uh, I've now got the family tree, he meant great 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 grandfather. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's right. But no, I, well, that seems to me to be yes. to be right now. There is actually, the, the, the records are known for Holtzapfel, and it is possible, I, I, I haven't been able to do it, but to find out precisely when this was made and yes. who it was supplied to. Oh, right. But for that, you need to find the number. Yes. It's also got the early type of overhead gear, right. which somebody described to me once as looking like a bit of an old brass bedstead. Yes. The other good thing about it is you've also got this box here underneath, and they're frequently missing. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's the original bolt-on tool cabinet, Oh, cracking! It's heavy. Does that come that out? It comes out, yes. Now, what have we got here? We've got the elliptical and eccentric, isn't it? Yes, that's that's the oval turning right. device with the banjo. Okay, great. And this is the eccentric. The eccentric chuck. Yes. That's the lathe number. Right. Because is it? Oh, if, right. if you're saying that this goes right back in yes. your family, um, these are bound to be the original chucks. Yes. What you do sometimes find is a lathe that's got additional chucks, but these master chucks are actually fitted to the headstock. Yes, and fitted to the draw. In the and when it was made, and yes. if you try and operate one of these on another lathe, you may yes. well find it doesn't run true. Oh, right. yes. So there's lots of goodies in there, and more, more um, tool rests and posts and everything else. Ugh. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, great, it's like a sort of treasure trope. And finally, you have two cabinets of these. Yes. Now, th this is quite a find, because I think, from what I can see, they're all original tools, signed, helps out full. They're in the mahogany cabinets, beautiful condition and complete. This is one of those things where the sum is worth more than the parts, in a sense, or the parts almost worth more than the sum. Yes. Um, a lathe like this, probably two, three thousand pounds. Yes. Believe it or not, a box of chisel like this, probably 700, 800 pounds, something like that, per box. Yes. Because although the lathes come up, the equipment that goes with them is much rarer, and yes. those collectors, they fight for the tools. Great stuff. Thank you very much.